floss tube welcome back to my channel welcome if you're new my name is denise and this is black ribbon stitch studio a floss tube channel where we chat about counted cross stitch and crafting um thank you all for uh tuning in today you can also find me on floss tube and instagram on the interwebs as a black ribbon stitch studio um before we go anywhere i want to uh share my condolences to uh the people who lost their lives and their families in the baltimore bridge incident Happy spring! Can you believe it's finally spring? Well, I feel like finally spring because generally winter seems long. Um, and I know some people are still having weather issues. Uh, but for the most part here in Charlotte, spring has sprung. Um, and that's just, that's fine with me. So happy spring, y'all. Um... I have, uh, since I saw you last, I um, have had a mammogram. And if you've been following me for a little while, you know that uh, for the past couple of years, I've had to have a diagnostic mammogram because they were trying to keep their eye on some suspicious uh, thing. And it turns out that the suspicious thing is no longer suspicious. And so I can now continue to have regular annual screenings. And so I'm really, really happy about that. And would like to take this time to say to you, please, please, please get your annual mammogram. It is important and it can save your life. Um, I also uh, spent time with my um, friends over at the Queen City Stitch Retreat um, Zoom. We had a Zoom meeting, if, if any of what I just said made any sense. Uh, we had a Zoom meeting, and um, I think that's always fun. You, 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 get to, you start to get to know people that are going planning to attend the retreat and so it, it makes for some really good familiarity by the time you get there and I'm going to talk a little bit more about that in a minute um also had a zoom call with my table four besties from the Queen City Stitch Retreat last year uh, we continue to um, spend time together and stitch together. And I just love that I have made these friendships. And um, we, we, had, we had a really, really good time. And again, more about that in a minute. Uh, I went with my sister-in-law, who is another one of my besties. Um, she recently lost two pets, like, this year she had a dog and a cat and they both uh passed away and so she was feeling this huge emptiness and decided that yes she did want to rescue another dog so i went with her to rescue the dog and i helped her to name him and his name is cooper and i'll insert a photo of them I love him. He is such a sweet dog. He's really, really, really a sweet dog. It's so far, so good. And if I'm lucky, um, I'll get to spend some time with my sister-in-law again this afternoon. So that's going to be cool. Uh, let's see. I am wearing what I am calling a FFO. It is a finally finished object. I have this sitting as a whip. For a really long time. I'm just going to say a really long time because I've actually lost count of how long I had that sitting on the side. And again, if you've been following me lately, you know that I have uh, picked up crochet again with a complete, I have such a zest for it. Like I, I, I crochet almost every evening. So I decided that I wanted to uh, clean up my whips and this was in the pile and um, 
I love it. It is by, the pattern is by Yolanda Soto Lopez of the All Crafts channel here on YouTube. I will insert a link uh, to the tutorial uh, in the description box below. And I used uh, this yarn. It's called Summer Kiss by Lion Brand. And um, when I bought this yarn, when it first came, I bought it when it came out and I was really excited about it. It looked like it was something that was right up my alley. And then I received it. I bought tons of it, guys. I bought tons of this yarn. And then when I received it, I was like, wait, I don't think I really like it. I have no idea what to make with it. And so it also kind of sat. But let me tell you, the color that I used is lemon. Lemon. And let me tell you how perfect this yarn was to make this uh, poncho. I have wanted this for so long. I definitely can see more ponchos in my future uh, made like this. I absolutely am loving it. So, um, that's that. Now, I uh, just want to talk to you for a second about what I've been watching. I'm still continuing to stay caught up with Shogun, and I am still absolutely loving it. Um, I think there's only two more episodes left. Um, it's just it's just really, really good, and I'm so happy that I'm watching it. Um, now, my table for besties, and that would be uh, Sarah of Memphis, Sarah E, Bernadette of Burn Stitches, and Jordan, the tattooed stitcher, talked me into watching Love is Blind. In particular, season six, because season six takes place in Charlotte, North Carolina, which is where I am. <sighs> Let me just say, I cannot still say that I love this show, but... Um, as of last night, uh, season six got really, really interesting. And so I've got another few episodes of that to watch. And, and, and that'll be, and that'll be that. I just needed to let you know what I'm watching and how that all came to be. Okay. So I love comments. I love you guys' comments. Um, after I uh, post a video, I'm telling you, your comments carry me. <laughs> they carry me for like another two weeks. It's just, it's amazing how uplifting it is to receive comments from you guys. So let me go over, let me go over a couple of comments that we got. And I like to do that at the beginning of the video so that we can all be on the same page about what's happening here in this little community. So, um, I, uh, talked about, uh, wanting to get my, wondering, I was wondering if, okay, I'm going to back up and start that again so that it kind of makes sense. I purchased and showed on my last video, uh, Letters from Mermaids by Nora Corbett, the letter M, uh, for my granddaughter, Maya. And I have a new granddaughter, Kyra, and I couldn't find the Q for whatever reason. I, I looked for Q and couldn't find the Q. And so uh, you guys really 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 helped me um locate the queue and i and so i have it and thank you so much for all of your input i had also asked if you thought i should use the letter o that kind of looked like a queue and you guys weighed in on that and i really really appreciate that conversation that we had thank you so much um, also, I uh, want to mention that my new granddaughter, who is, I think, six weeks old now. I think she's six weeks. I don't think she's seven weeks old yet. Um, shares a birthday with two of my viewers, at least. And that would be Linda and Jean. And she was born on February 13th. So, she's in great company. She's in great company. I love you guys. Um, so, also, 
uh, Daphne Chamberlain, who also has a, a floss tube channel, um, said that um, she she knows that I went to my first stitching retreat last year and wants to know what my suggestions are for someone who will be attending their first in-person retreat. And so I would like to take a few minutes to just um, respond to, to Daphne. I, I, I did give her one little tip. I told her that um, my first suggestion was to just be herself. And um, to, to th th that the first hurdle, you've already conquered the first hurdle because everyone is there for the same reason that she is, that, that you're there. Everyone is at the stitching retreat because they love stitching. So that's the first hurdle. Um, they're excited about cross stitch. Um, and so you can just go in as yourself, know and bring your excitement for cross stitch. So, so uh, that that's gonna be that's gonna be uh, uh, one one big thing to keep in mind um, as you are uh, planning to you know attend your first retreat. Um, if you are uh, if you are a floss tuber or you watch floss tube even you really do know people. Uh, to my knowledge and and in my experience, all the floss tubers that I've ever met really are who they are when you see them on camera. Um, and as a floss tuber, you talk to uh, your viewers, you know, all the time, and they respond and they comment. You know. You go in with the mindset that, yes, I do know these people. Now, so, I think it's safe to say, I, well, I know it's safe to say, especially from experience, you can simply walk up and introduce yourself. You can, it really, you could do that. And uh, one, of, one of the biggest, biggest icebreakers that'll help you, um, in, in this is to just walk up to someone and ask them what they're stitching on. Uh, great conversations have uh, bloomed out of that convert out of that one question. So I I, I have to let you know that uh, as Daphne pointed out, last year was the first time I've ever been to a retreat, and I was anxious. I was so anxious. So, for example, I forgot to tell viewers and to tell people, if you see me at the retreat, don't be afraid. Just walk up to me and introduce yourself. Okay, well, apparently I didn't have to do that because people, people were walking up to me and introducing themselves. And I tell you, I was in an anxious fog. And so it took a minute for me to uh, to really like comprehend and take hold of what was happening <laughs> okay so and, and it's and it's okay it's okay so i want to put it out there now um like i don't go to a lot of retreats i am planning to go to the queen city stitch retreat again this year if you are uh, attending the queen city stitch retreat please feel free don't be afraid Come up to me and introduce yourself, and um, we will make the best of the situation. I know we're all there to enjoy to enjoy stitching, um, and so that's that's kind of uh, some of my advice uh, for people who are attending your your first retreat. You're not alone, um, and yes, I was anxious as well. And I had the time of my life. So go in, go to the retreat, enjoy yourself. I promise you won't regret it.
I promise you won't regret it. So thank you so much, guys, for your comments. Um, I really, really, really do enjoy getting to know each of you uh, so uh, closely uh, through the comments. I appreciate it. So are you ready? Let's talk stitching. So here are my stats. My last video was 20 days ago. I stitched for 13 days on six projects. Not too shabby. And most of those days, I crocheted in the evening. So, there you have it. Um, I have a crochet finish uh, because of because of that. Well, I already showed you this, this poncho. Did you guys want me to stand up? I don't even remember if I said I was going to insert a photo. But there will be a photo somewhere, but I'll just stand up and let you see how the poncho looks. And again, I love it. Okay, so there's that. <laughs> All right, so let me let me tell you guys. I was going to make, I wanted to uh, record this video. I was scheduled to record this video yesterday. Something got under my skin early in the day. And I just, you know, I gave myself what I'm calling like a day off, a day to 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 just reset. Um, and so today I've had various <laughs> uh, distractions, but I'm like, by gosh, I'm gonna get this video done today. Now, um. Am I going to get it uploaded today? I'm not sure. Today, by the way, is Thursday, March 28th. Today's Thursday, March 28th. Um, I may not get it uploaded today. I, I'm not sure, but I just needed to let you know that, yeah. So it's not, sometimes it's just not as easy as you want it to be. It's just not always that way. So anyway, so here is... um. You may know that I am, I love, love, love making um, corner to corner blankets and we call it C2C, um, corner to corner blankets. I made one for my granddaughter, which kind of started this whole crochet frenzy for me again. So um, I chose some more yarn, excuse me, bending over guys, and I uh, made another blank, another baby blanket. And here it is. Guys, I love this stuff. I love it. And so, I made that one. Cute, right? And um, I put this kind of a scallopy border on it. And the yarn that I use is... I used a sweet roll, which I'm obsessed with this yarn. Okay, it's it's called it's a sweet roll and it's by Premier and it's 100% acrylic. And this color of it is called Spearmint Pop. That's what I made this out of. Spearmint Pop, you know, it it color changes on its own. And I kind of love that. I love color changing yarn. And so there is that. Now I did attempt to make another. I wanted to make a matching um, T-Rex. And I have to tell you that that was a fail. So, <laughs> so I folded this up and put it away. And we're going to call it a day with that. We're going to call it a day. So there's that. Now, again, sorry for all the bending. I just don't know another way to do that, guys. I'm so sorry. Okay. So, beyond all of that, I actually had two starts. Okay? I had two starts. And um, the first one is um, Christmas Shelf. And I'm going to ask you guys um, to bear with me a little bit. I'm trying to do something a little bit different here um, today. So, the first start was Christmas Shelf by Riolis. 
Okay, this was gifted to me by Sarah, Memphis Sarah E. And it's the whole entire kit. So, you know, I had to start it. I had to start it right away. And so I'm using all of the, um, all of the kit products. <laughs> Um, and that includes this acrylic wool yarn, but I must say that I started here. I thought I was going to have a top left corner start, and then I looked at it and I said, there is no way that this thing is going to fit on this fabric. So I went back and I measured the fabric and lo and behold, yeah, it's not going to fit. And then I and then I decided, wow, let me read the directions. <laughs> that was a novel thought. Let me read the directions. And lo and behold, the directions said, start in the center. So I haven't unpicked this part out yet. I wanted you guys to see how there was no way this was going to fit on this fabric. So I did a center start, and this is how far I've gotten how far I've gotten it I knew that I I really oh I like the way that looks like that I like the way um I really like this chart and um but there was something about it that made me like really really like it and then I realized that it's because there's a clock on this shelf and I just yeah I have a thing for time pieces so that's working for me and again, this is using the uh, wool acrylic thread. Forgive me, guys. For some reason today, I can't remember what I just said. That's a thing. <laughs> That's a thing. <laughs> and, um, okay, let's see. I stitched on this during the Zoom um, with my uh, Table 4 Besties. I stitched on it. And I stitched on it for three of seven days. So I want to stitch on it for at least four more days. So that means you guys are going to see this again. You're going to see this again before I put it away. This is 14 count Flaxen Ada. And I, kind, I really kind of like it. I like it. Oh, wait a minute. Here's the... Here's, like, even more important than everything that I just said in this video. <laughs> I ironed this. I ironed for y'all. How about that? I ironed for y'all. I'm so excited. And you know what? I like the way that looks. So there. So there's that. Okay. Now, let me figure out how... <laughs> the best way for me to set this stuff aside. Okay. We have our trusty chair, but it's all the way over there. Okay. It, this will, it'll, it'll work out. It'll all work out in the end. Okay, so another thing I start started was um, Always Love You by the now defunct Stitch Life Magazine, Jukebox Stitchery. This is what it's going to look like when it's done. Um, I won this in a giveaway from Kelly at Don't Run With Scissors. Okay. And this is how far I've gotten. This I, I this is absolutely beautiful. I love these all of these colors together. I think this is it, it's just brilliant. It's beautiful. I love it so much. I'm not sure why I pulled out the floss, but there it is. Only three colors of floss. And these floss tags are um, give it were given to me by Stitching Shorty at the Queen City Retreat. <laughs> so there it is, there it is, guys. But this is absolutely gorgeous. Now, okay, um, 
This is being, this was a kit. As I said, I won this kit. This was a whole kit. Everything came together, including the box that um, it's going to be finished on. Uh, I did tell you last time that um, because someone was asking about this company and, you know, uh, so Kelly at Don't Run With Scissors, who I will, um, I will link in the description box below. Uh, she says that St Stitch Life magazine no longer exists. But if you want this pattern or the other one that we were talking about in the last video, if you want the patterns, um, she can get you in touch with the person that has the patterns. And I also was wondering about the fabric and uh, they dyed the fabric themselves. And so there is no like place that I can uh, lead you to to get more of this fabric so that's that's kind of the story behind that at this point and that was a new start for me um i stitched on it for two two days out of the six days that i want to stitch on it so you'll be seeing this again as well hopefully with any luck at all in the universe it'll be a finish that's what i'm hoping for i'm hoping i can finish it We'll see. We will see. Okay. Um, so those are my two starts. Now, um, onto my whips. I uh, stitched on African American Father Christmas. And I'm going to see if you can see this through the plastic. Oh, yeah. It's showing pretty well. This is by Alma Lynn. Gorgeous, right? Um, and so I think I said this is from like 1993. So it's one of those, you know, much older charts. Uh, it is a, a little bit challenging. I'm not always sure why people feel that all the charts are challenging, uh, but this one definitely was because there's a lot of um, symbol, I'm going to say duplication, where it's a thing that go. you have one color, the symbol goes this way, and the other color the symbol goes that way. And getting your brain to understand which color is, you're supposed to be stitching is challenging. So I'm now using my highlighter on the, um, you know, the, the list of colors because I, I did of course make a mistake so far on with that. I probably made a couple of mistakes so far with that, but I recognized I needed to do something, something to, turn my brain around so that I could understand it's this color and not that color. So that happened. All right. And so um, I this is how far I have gotten. Let's see. I stitched on this um, for five out of the seven days that I had chosen to um, stitch on it. And here it is. I did not iron this. It is on 32 count Platinum Lugana by Zweigart. The entire kit was gifted to me by my friend Pat. And I'm using uh, DMC and there's going to be some Petite Treasure Bray included, which is why I didn't iron this because I'm going to wash it. I Yes. Okay. Anyway, here's the Christmas tree. On top of that Christmas tree is a huge star that I'm going to stitch with Petite Treasure Bray, but not just yet. You can see this teddy bear is all filled in. And it turns out that his nose is stitched with, I think it's 3771, that really, really dark, 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 dark brown. And I'm telling you, 
that doesn't show up anywhere else in the chart. So I did something that I never, ever, ever, ever do. I know some people do this as a regular thing. I never, ever steal floss from one project <laughs> to use in another, but I did it this time. I'm like, for one stitch, I am not uh, going to prepare an entire floss drop of floss for one stitch. So I went digging around and I found my floss and I made my stitch and called it a day. So there it is. I'm going to be stitching on this for another couple of days before I put it away. That is uh, African American Father Christmas by Alma Lynn. Love it. Um... Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay. The next thing that I stitched on was Charlotte by Mirabilia. Which I will show you in a second. And this is what Charlotte is going to look like when she's done, except for I have converted her hair and skin. That's what she's going to look like when she's done. I stitch on her every Monday for Mirror Monday, which is um, a hashtag and uh, a phenomenon <laughs> that was created by Lisa Cross by Floss. I stitch on her every single Monday, and let's see. I don't think I have, I don't think I have a before photo this time, guys. So sorry, but I don't think we're missing anything, honestly, um, because I'm just still down in the dress part portion. That dress is getting fuller and fuller. And I love it still. I love picking her up and stitching on her every Monday. Makes me very, very happy. I can't wait, of course, until she's done. Um, I am stitching her on 32 Count Cecil by Seraphim Fabrics using the Call for DMC um, with the exception of the conversion. If you are still interested in the conversion, I put the conversion in the description box of my last video. And so here she is. Yes, love her. Love her. And of course, I have some other uh, Mirabilia's that I have lined up uh, that will uh, fall into place. Once I'm done with Charlotte, I will have I will just insert the next Mirabilia or Mirabilia Monday. Okay. So now the next thing that I stitched on was um Fall Harvest, which is not sure if I like this situation guys but we're working on it okay fall harvest which is a fat quarter shop stitch quarterly and it's in this uh cute 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 mesh bag that fat quarter shop is so good at providing um this is what it's gonna look like when it's done can you see that I don't want things to be too glary for you. Okay. And so uh, the thing that, of course, got me with this chart is the fact that, well, with this uh, design is the fabric. Okay. The fabric is called 14 Count Autumn Splendor Sampler by Fabric Flare. Um, I'll put a photo in here of where it was the last time I showed it to you. And here it is now. No, I did not iron. Um, because I I'm not ironing things that I'm planning to wash when they're done. 
So that's that the explanation for that, okay? And this is where it is now. And this is a lot of fun to stitch on. Um, yes, I'm enjoying this immensely. I'm enjoying this immensely. And you can't believe how many colors um, I used <laughs> just in this, this little bit. This is a lot of different color changes, but it's okay with me. It's okay with me. That's fine. So I stitched on this for three days, which is what I had intended. I intended to get a three-day start on this. That is done. And so now this is going into the whip pile. And yes, it's a lot of fun. But yeah, I had to get it started. So I got a nice little three-day start on it. And I, I'll get back to it someday. Someday, oops, I, I gotta remember all my pieces. Okay, maybe next time I'll put my chair over here. I don't know. Okay, so let's see. The next thing that I stitched on was winter time, which is another fat quarter shop stitch quarterly that comes in this cute mesh bag, right? And this is what it's gonna look like when it's done. Guys, this is so cute. It's just so cute in every way. And I must tell you, I have been having a good time. I've been enjoying stitching on this. And again, I have no before photo because I don't know. Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. But this is how far I've gotten on this. This not only is a really cute chart, but it is being stitched on the really cute fabric. The fabric is 14 count minty green opalescent Ada. And it's using called the call for DMC and classic color works. And I'm trying to see, do I need to put something behind this? I don't know. Let me try the project back, see what happens. Oh, see, that looks good. That looks good. So, yeah, I've got that whole penguin stitched in. Isn't it cute? I think it's adorable. And I ironed it. <laughs> I'm just so proud of the fact that I actually put an iron to my projects, guys. You deserve it. <laughs> you deserve it. Um, and so I don't think there's anything else that I could tell you about this, except that I stitched on it for three out of the six days that I plan to stitch on it. So you'll be seeing this one again also before it goes away. Yes. Okay, time. Okay. And really, guys, that is that's that's all my stitching. That's all my stitching. That's all the stitching that I did. Um, but I do want to share with you what I want to share with you. Uh, some stitchy kindness and happy mail first. And um, so the first thing is that uh, Fat Quarter Shop is just like. They're just so generous, and it's like, they just want you guys to have it all. And so, um, I am more than happy to share all of this with you guys. Um, so, the first thing that they sent in this packet was uh, some more cloth bitties. You may have seen me share some of these with you guys in the past, and you use these to... Um, hold onto your fabric um, or in, in several different ways. There's a lot of different ways you could use these. But I thought they are really, really cute. So thank you for that. And then, guys, I've got a whole hand, a, a, a stack of quilt patterns. I'm going to go through them quickly. Uh, but keep your eye out because the m most of these are going to wind up in giveaways, guys. Okay. So the first one is Honey Crisp. Sorry for the glare. I, I did leave the blinds open today because I kind of got tired of that 
dark, sultry look. <laughs> okay, anyway. Honey Crisp. Daisy Patch. Now, I can see myself uh, making some of these. I really can. I really can. Early Bird. Mm-hmm. Peppermint Bark. Cross Trainer. Color Me Crayons. Chantilly. And Poinsettias. So cute. So pretty. All right. So I just wanted to share those uh, with you guys. Uh, thank you so much, Kimberly and team at that quarter shop for uh, sending these along so that I could share them with my viewers. And as I said, guys, be on the lookout because um, a lot of these, if if not all, I doubt it's going to be all, <laughs> but a lot of these will, are going to make it into uh, future uh, giveaways. So if you're a quilter, stay tuned. Um, the next thing I want to talk to you about is, uh, my investments in my future happiness. So, um, I, I talked to you briefly about the fact that, uh, because you guys are so generous and so forthcoming, um, I was able to find, uh, letters from mermaids by Nora Corbett, the letter Q. And I got it from Embroidery Central, which I believe is embroidery.com. Uh, Susan sent me a link to it. Uh, Susan, I just want you to know that I or I immediately ordered, placed an order. And I want you guys to know that everything worked out very smoothly. There were no issues. And so that's a place that I would order from again. Uh, this is Letters from Mermaids by Nora Corbett, the letter Q, that I'm going to someday stitch for my granddaughter, Kyra. I love it so much. I just love it. Um, so, of course, while I was there, what did I do, right? I had to, I had to buy more stuff. So, I also purchased... Um, Luda by Mirabilia. I've seen Luda stitched up and there's no doubt in my mind that I want a stitcher. No doubt in my mind. So I'm happy to have that. And um, you uh, know that I am stitching on another Mirabilia uh, called Red. And um, I I got started with red. I, I simply bought all of the flosses and so forth and so on. Uh, but then I now decided to go ahead and get the bead pack for her. There's a lot of beads, y'all. There's a lot of beads. <laughs> Ask me if I'm intimidated. I'm probably not going to answer you. <laughs> I'm probably not going to answer you. I've never done any of this before, so... It's all new to me, and I, I, but I, I welcome this exciting challenge, the, the exciting challenge that this is all uh, presenting for me. So, uh, Susan, thank you again. Thank you again for enabling me and helping me to find what I was looking for um, so I can make those investments. Um, I also received my next installment in the Fabulous House series. Fabulous Houses, I'm looking because what in the world? Ah, that's nothing. That's garbage. The Fabulous Houses series, and it is the Cottage. And this is a by um, Cottage Garden Samplings. 
and I still love it. I'm still loving this series. So this is number four. There are 12 all together. And I am getting mine on auto ship from Great Lakes Needleworks. Thank you guys. I'm still stitching number one and I'm not mad about it. <laughs> what else do I have? Okay, so this is bringing us now to giveaways and I am going to announce the giveaway winners from the last um video actually it's what it was one um giveaway last video and it was not this hold on hold the presses hold the presses we're gonna do giveaways in a second <laughs> i forgot i forgot that i also received um a Stitch quarterly, yes, I'm confused. Yes, yeah, Stitch quarterly from Fab Quarter Shop, the most recent one, and it comes in this cute little mesh bag, and look at the cute bunny. I'm obsessed with bunnies, guys. I'm obsessed. I've decorated with bunnies for the spring. White bunnies. Okay, and so the chart is Bunny's Bakery. Look at that. It's so adorable. I love it. I love it so much. And so this is the March 2024 Stitch Quarterly. Bunny's Bakery. Okay? And so um, you received the chart. And in this Stitch Quarterly, um, you also receive this uh, mini, look at this, they have mini uh, Mad for Plaid project bags. I love this so, 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 so much. I love it. Yes, we need that. So it comes with that. It comes with... It comes with the fabric, which is 14 count Magical Clouds Ada by Fabric Flare. And you can, you may be able to see this actually clouds. Oh my gosh. Ah, oh, I love it so much. I love it. You get the, uh, the call for floss, which is Ada. You get the Ada pack, not Ada. I knew something didn't sound right. DMC <laughs> and the needle, right? And this really, really cute bunny needle minder. Guys, what's not to love? Now, I must say that um, as of yesterday or the day before when I was looking, um, there is a note um, on the website that they only have a limited amount of these. So if I were you and I really, really, really want this, I would go check today um, to see if it is in fact still available. Um, so you guys know the deal. Like I absolutely love this. Um, it is an entire kit. So what's about to happen? I'm going to start it. I'm going to start it. I'm going to start it. I love it. I love it. So I have to start this. So, yeah, please, um, you know, hop on over to Backwater to Shop, Backwater Shop to see if you um, are still able to get one. And um, consider, do consider uh, joining the Stitch Quarterly Club. I am loving every minute of it. Okay, now we can do giveaways. <laughs> that was like a commercial for the giveaway. All right, so this last week's giveaway was this Stitch Quarterly package, which uh, is called You Are My Sunshine, and I've thrown a couple of extras in there. Um, let's see here. This is what 
it basically looks like, right? Gloss, fabric. The fabric is like this uh, beachy looking fabric, if you can tell from this photo. And the winner of this giveaway is da -da -da -da, Kelly at Don't Run With Scissors. <laughs> Kelly, you have won giveaways before. Drop me a note. Let me know you know. And I'll put it in the mail for you. Congratulations. Congratulations, Kelly. Um, And so this week's giveaway. Let's see what we're giving away this week, guys. Oh, I have a couple. There are three. I'm doing three giveaways this week, guys. Three. Okay? And they're good. <laughs> they're good. All right. So, um, we have uh, Fat Quarter Shop, Chicken Club. This is number five in the series of 12 chickens. His name is Hank. <laughs> <laughs> adorable adorable i may still go back and stitch these i i don't know i'm trying not to start a new obsession which would be the chicken obsession but anyway here's hank right and then we have the uh simply signs pattern series number three which is summertime but it's so emma Summertime. So if you're interested in winning both Hank and Summertime, please be over the age of 18. Please be a subscriber. Please be in the United States. Please like this video. Um, and I uh, use the word summer anywhere in your comment. And I will use the YouTube random comment picker before, right before the next video and choose a winner for this. Use the word summer. The next thing is Star Spangled Ornaments. Yes, patriotic all the way, all the patriotic ornaments. I want to hold it as close as I can so maybe you can see some of them up close. I love it so much. Let's see. Um, There are 12 designs in this booklet. So if you're interested in uh, Star Spangled Ornaments, uh, use the word star somewhere in your comments. Okay, the next one is Patriotic, uh, the Typeface Series Patriotic includes three Americana designs, which are adorable. Like, come on, it doesn't get too much better than this. I love them so much, like so, so much. And if you are interested in winning this booklet, uh, please use the word America. Use the word America anywhere in your comment. Good luck, everyone. Good luck. I hope that if, that if you saw something that you love, I hope that you are the winner. Okay. I just have a couple of short uh, shout outs this week. Uh, the first one is uh, Emily Williams. And, of course, I will link uh, these uh, YouTubers, these floss tubers in the description box below. The first, uh, her name is Emily Williams. She lives in North Carolina. Um, and I find her videos to be extremely interesting because she doesn't just talk about cross-stitch. And sometimes the other topics that she talks about are very, very interesting to me. So give her a watch. And then there is Amy at Renewing Stitches, who um, I find to be extremely interesting as well. 
So I, as I said, I will link both of these people below in the description box. Please go and give them a watch and uh, make sure you subscribe so that you can uh, show some support for them. Okay, what am I coming up, plan? my plans coming up? Okay, I recently was watching Just Keep Stitching and Pam was talking about her 24 and 24. And of course, it's not the first time she talked about it, but it's the first time that it like clicked to me. Uh, Pam, I don't know who originated 24 and 24, but Pam is uh, aiming for 24 start. Uh, no, 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 no. Yes, 24 starts in 2024. Um, I do believe that she went in ahead of time and actually chose the things that she was going to start um, in 2024 which of course is, 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 is very organized and stuff. <laughs> and of course I'm random girl, so I'm not going to do it that way. I'm going to do 24 and 24. Okay. And the reason I've chosen, I'm deciding to do that is because I have already had eight starts. This is March. This is, st we're still in March. I've already had eight starts this year. So I think that um, 24 starts is a good number to, to, to aim for. Um, I didn't, I, I really didn't want to think about doing 24 starts with all of these whips that I still have. But since I'm constantly starting stuff anyway, why not make it a thing? So 24 in 24. Um, uh, is a thing that I'm jumping on the bandwagon, uh, thanks to Pam at, uh, Just Keep Stitching. Um, also, uh, let's see, Major League Baseball officially starts today. Um, and you may have heard me talking about my angst about <laughs> being able to, um, comfortably afford to pay to watch baseball. I, I, I can't do it. Um, I love baseball, but it's just not an expense that I could incur right now. So, but I did see on Prime yesterday, I do have Prime, and I did see that um, Prime is allowing me to watch a few games. So, if I'm correct, I think, I think, fingers crossed, I think that I can watch Yankees baseball this afternoon. <laughs> if I can watch the Yankees baseball game this afternoon, I'm going to be so freaking thrilled. Uh, stay tuned. I'll let you know. Um, In a couple of days, it's going to be Easter. So I want to say happy Easter ahead of time to everyone that is going to celebrate. I am planning to actually cook. Um, at least part of a meal. I um, don't feel like, um, I don't really want to like go like berserk because it's really just going to be me. <laughs> it, no, it's not, that's not true. It's going to be me, uh, my daughter, and my grandchildren. Um, so I, I, I am definitely going to make a ham this year and some potato salad. Um, I can't remember anything about last Easter other than I know we went out. I know we went in, uh, we went out to, uh, Charlotte Shout in Uptown, which is a thing. It's happening again and I can't wait to get there. Uh, but I know we did that on, I feel like it was on Easter Sunday. So I don't think that we you know, like made a big deal out of dinner, which is okay, which is okay. Um, but I just felt like it this year. I just felt like it. So I'm going to be definitely uh, roasting a ham and making my famous potato salad. Um, uh, whoever else wants to join us can come on and uh, bring bring a dish because that's, that's all I'm making. <laughs> So that'll be interesting. That'll be interesting. But I do want all of you to, uh, that do celebrate Easter to enjoy your holiday. Uh, otherwise, just enjoy yourself. Um, 
I want to uh, thank everyone who has uh, clicked the link in the description box below, bought me a coffee. I really do appreciate it. I use the proceeds from buy me a coffee to uh, help uh, pay for shipping of the giveaways that I do on each and every video. So I really do appreciate that. Uh, please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you have not yet already. And don't forget to hit the bell so you can be notified every single time I upload a new video. Um, and if you um, haven't already, also, please leave me a comment. Leave me a comment. We want, we need stuff to talk about here. <laughs> we love it. Okay. And I'm going to leave you with some words of inspiration and they go like this. If you are thinking positive during negative times, you've already won. Guys, until next time, don't forget to enjoy your life. Have fun. Bye-bye.